What if a seed robot could fly in, land safely, and start rescuing people in disaster zones? I know, it sounds like a distant future. After all, seeds are small, lightweight, and seem fragile. They need water and oxygen to do anything useful. But what if the resilience of seeds in nature could inspire the next generation of emergency robots? Sounds crazy, right? Well, not to Naoki Aida and Mitsuharu Matsumoto. They asked themselves, could nature help us create robots capable of saving lives in hard to access disaster zones? Stick around for the scientific meme at the end. And don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comments. We're excited to hear what you think. All right, back to business. So the average Joe might ask, why not use unmanned aerial vehicles, AKA UAVs? And that's a fair point. UAVs are excellent for exploring disaster zones from the sky. But here's the problem. They need batteries, which means they can only stay in the air for a limited time. Plus, they're vulnerable to strong winds and bad weather, which are common in disaster zones. And even if they give you a bird's eye view, UAVs can't conduct ground level exploration without dropping a robot there first. That's why Naoki Lida and Mitsuharu Matsumoto make a strong case. Their research, a transformable sheet type robot that can be thrown from the air, published in Biomimetics, offers an out of the box idea to the problem. They explored all types of seeds and narrowed it down to three candidates, maple, dipterocarp, and alsimetra. Now, falling tests showed the maple model dropped without rotating, failing to slow down effectively. The Alsamitra glided like a paper airplane, but was too unpredictable to land accurately in a disaster zone. But what about the dipterocarp model? It spun down smoothly and stably like a helicopter, making it the best candidate for an emergency robot. After finding the sweet spot of the angle of attack and elevation, they took it up a notch. A flying robot is great, but what if it could move on the ground too? They looked at the inchworm's crawl to give the robot ground movement. The result? Nothing short of amazing. In their motion experiments, the robot flawlessly transitioned from a controlled, rotating fall to a ground crawling form. Once it landed, it began to move, slowly, yes, at 0.0481 centimeters per second, which is 10 times slower than a snail. But the descent? A steady 3.43 meters per second, the same speed as a skydiver with a parachute deployed. The impressive part was that it achieved all this without electricity or actuators. Simple, efficient, and groundbreaking. Now here is my opinion. The invention was amazing. It would be interesting to see it tested in a rocky or uneven terrain to understand its capability, as these tests were only on flat surfaces. Beyond emergency robots, what other applications could this technology be used for? And now the meme of the week. Become a biter and check out this other video on Desert Lizard Robots from Mars. See you next Wednesday.